Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Mr. Sonic Man U, and welcome back to Estrange Act 1. In the last episode, we finally figured out what's happening in on this island. We figured out that there are zombies. Maybe the, actually either might be zombies or something mutated them, but so far let's just call them zombies. And I also said that this game really reminds me of Bioshock. Like first you crash on an island and then second like the island is Something is going terribly wrong with the island, and I'm guessing we need the pull the thing here, right? I need to get on the train too. Can I can I whack something with that? Okay, never mind. I need also need to conserve my flashlight. I don't have very much, a lot of battery in there. So, okay, that's the train. I'm guessing we need to use a train. Can I can I get up, please? Can I get up? Hello? Let me up. Can I get up, please? Thank you. I have to go the long way around. Ah. Okay. So, how do we make the choo-choo go? Oh, that's how we make it go. Don't tell me we'll be holed up in here and zombies are going to be attacking us. Oh, hey, it's a Half-Life 2 train. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. If we get attacked, how do I make it stop? I need to pay attention to what's around me. This is cool. And I have a feeling our next stop isn't going to be very pleasant. I didn't stop it. Oh no. For a place that's been overrun by zombies, there aren't a lot of them around. The description on Steam said that interact with the locals on the island. I have a feeling they were trying to trick me, interact as in shooting the heck out of them when they get near you. I swear I'm hearing things. Like I have my volume like way up. Just in case, I had to, I had to fi <laughs> I had to be safe. Oh yeah, he was yeah he was infected. Okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Are you? Hmm. I no, don't no, I don't like it. They're coming up. Please don't come up. I don't know where I am yet. Okay. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I'm gonna say crouched. Okay. Get these batteries. I really ah. Oh, why are they here? It was probably my gunshot. I was like, I'm sorry if I needed to, like, know if he was dead or alive. Okay, he's still there. Alrighty. Oh man. Oh man. How many are there? Okay, three. Three. Let's reload real quick. Ah! Jeez! Why? We're gonna hold up in here? This seems like the responsible thing to do. Or the smart thing to do. Ah! Wasting bullets! You gonna come up here? Okay, it's time to be brave. Time to be brave! Come on! You want some? Want some, buddy? I only have four bullets left. Okay. We do one, two. Oh, jeez! Can I get a headshot? Oh no! Oh no! 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 Run! Oh, I messed up! I messed up big time! Oh, he's behind me! He's way! He's really behind me! Oh man! Oh man! Can they swim? I'm guessing I didn't do that. Can I get my gun back, please? A blitz. I would really appreciate if I got my all the way back here. Uh. Kills this Spartan about this. Shoot him again, and they they gather around as always, right? Okay, so I need to be smart about my ammo. There were three guys. Psst, oh, why? I clicked to pick it up. 
that is a creepy baby doll. I'm gonna go shut the door on it. Oh man, like I've mentioned before that I hate dolls with a burning passion. Oh, why did I open it again? Close. Okay. Okay. Let's be let's be smart about this. Oh. Oh, can I pull that? What did that do? Okay. I need to get back to the train then. Oh! <laughs> Sweet! The gate killed both of them. Killed two, right? Okay, they're dead. Ugh. That's right. Oh, one more. Is that it? Hey, <laughs> hey, you can't get to me. How? You just... You just appeared out of there! Where are you guys coming from? What the heck? Oh, God! Oh, okay. One shot, one kill. Get back on the train. Oh, out of ammo again. Great. Great. That was smart of me. Nice. Good job, Jose. Good job. Really show them how smart you were. Yeah, it also feels a lot like... Um, not Half-Life, because duh. Also feels like... Like, uh, Left 4 Dead. The fact that, you know, it's a Valve-esque kind of game. Did I say that right? I'm bad with words, guys. Oh, wow, the scenery. Let me enjoy the scenery. Wow. So you pass over a canyon. There's another train. Please stop, please stop, please Okay, we have been stopped. Now, I have no idea what I'm gonna do now, because I'm out of ammo. And I have a feeling I'm gonna need ammo later on in this game. I mean, I can always run, but you guys saw what happened, what happened to me last time I tried that. Okay, um... That does not seem safe. I don't think I'm supposed to go over here. I'm supposed to go back. Is there a cross space I'm supposed to go to? Do I get on top of... Oh, there's a tunnel. Oh, man. Why? Why does there have to be a tunnel? A creepy tunnel? Oh, okay, the creepy tunnel isn't that big. Loading screen. Again. These loading screens are extremely long. I don't understand why it's long. Maybe it's because I'm recording at the same time I'm doing this, so it's taking up a lot of CPU power. But I don't understand. Like, why does it be, like, extreme? W why? Nothing sneak up on me, please. I would really appreciate it if nothing did that. Thank you. You guys are too kind. Uh, I don't trust that guy over there. There has to be a way where I can get more ammo. Hey, ugly. You stay there, okay? Stay right there. Don't jump out and try to and try to get me. Don't try to take me from behind. Stay there. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Stay there. All right. Oh. Uh. Okay, he's still there. Okay. I was freaking out for no reason. I need ammo. And I believe ammo's in there. I need something to break through the window. But what can I use? I can't go through there. What can I use? But would be breaking through the window smart? I mean, okay, they, they provided me cinder blocks. So it should be okay. Hopping in. That scared me. What are these? Cola. Really now? Cola? That's all you have to offer me? No ammo? No nothing? What's that? It's a box. I want boxes. I want ammo. No ammo. Are you serious now? Are you kidding me? I need ammo. Uh, I said I was going to conserve ammo, but I didn't. Please, please, no zombies. Please, please be nice. Please game. 
Please, game. I'm asking for a favor here. I want this far to play you. Now, please, like, meet me halfway here. Like, at least provide me with some ammo, please. I really appreciate it. Is that ammo? Is there another dead guy over there? Let's check. Yeah, he's, he's dead. He seems very much dead. Oh, please don't pull a halo. I remember in Halo where you think a flood is dead. It comes up and attacks you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's dead. He was burnt. Yeah. He's dead, pretty much. He's not coming back from that. Okay. I'm gonna use a... Uh... No! 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 Yes! Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. I missed! Come on, come on, come on. Why are you running? You're scared? Okay. So, it's like a Resident Evil game or any kind of... Uh, survival horror. You need to conserve your ammo to stay alive. Any more ammo? And in order to... Stay- to have more ammo, you need to explore. That's how the game forces you to go into every nook and cranny. So you- and then it also adds to the scare because you're not sure if you're gonna run into anything while you're searching for your much needed ammo. Speaking of ammo... Here's the ammo. Thank you. Ammo. Ammo. Thank you. What's this? Nothing. Are we done here? Are we done here? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Is that water? Okay, it probably was water. Okay, time to proceed with the spooks. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. Okay. I should really play Cry of Fear. I heard that was a fun game. I played like a little bit of it. And I hit the it hit the first jump scare and I completely chickened out. Why am I missing you? Come on. Oh my god. It's clunky aiming right here. Or is this water? It's not water, but why is it making that water the goopy watery sound? Oh, this is mud. Okay, yeah, there's water. Oh, uh, there has been a fork in the road. I'm gonna go this way. Please be nice to me. And I'll be nice to you. If you're not nice to me, I'll shoot you in the face. Okay. Why am I s this is slippery, isn't it? Sewer maintenance access. Okay, do a smart thing, close the door. What is there here? Oh, I have to go underground. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh my gosh. Why am I doing this? Like, why am I putting myself through this again? Why am I playing another series? I said I wouldn't in my last vlog. Hey, hey, I'm not gonna do another series again. That, that worked out perfectly. Another loading screen. Come on. These long loading screens are really like, first like, it hits a peak of like suspense and the loading screen just kills it. I hate it. I complain a lot about loading screens. Like, like who doesn't? Boo, yo. Oh, it's like this. It kind of reminds me of the sewer level from The Last of Us. That game was awesome, by the way. It's my second favorite game of all time. Just behind Life is Strange. Hola! Anyone dare to try to kill me? Okay, I thought that was a dead body. They're trying to build up to something. Oh man, that kind of... I chipped away some health. Okay, that door is locked. Do I have to go with the flow? Yep. What? No! Are you kidding me? Uh, why? Why? Down we go, I guess. It's good music though. A really good build up in a really good spot. Never mind. <laughs> it's a really good build up. 
it's really nice. I was gonna end the episode, but I figured, you know what, never mind. I haven't been going on long enough to end the episode. Hence the really awkward pause thing I did. Can I open that? I can't. Oh, jeez, my mouse just spazzed out. I feel like when I play half like Valve games or Half Life or any like Half Life mods or Valve games, that's usually when my mouse spazzes out the most. It's never in any other game I play. It's always when I play the Half Life 2 mods or any Valve game. I don't know why that why that is though. It's really weird. What's that? <gasps> it's a health pack. Can I pick it? Zombie? Zombie? Okay. Please, please no zombie. Please no zombie. Okay. No zombie. That's a relief. Zombie? Oh, it's a puzzle, isn't it? Okay. So, from my understanding, I either need to break the window I mean, you know, break the- okay. I think I'm supposed to use this to prop up the door before I close it. So I can actually get through. Oh man, now it's propped up against this door. Throw it. Throw- yeah, there we go. Okay. So I'm gonna... So I'm gonna set that there. This ambience though. It's a really nice ambience. I can appreciate it. Okay, put that box there. I like how it snapped in place. So you are supposed to do that, I guess. Okay, cool. No zombie. What was that? Okay, it was the box. Okay. Oh, scared the heck out of me, man. Okay, let's see what's up here. Any spooks? I hope not. I feel like I should turn down my uh, sensitivity. Hold on guys, sorry. Okay. I turned down my mouse sensitivity because I realized that's probably why I kept on missing when I try to shoot the zombies. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you serious? I didn't know that was bad. The burned body should have should have been enough to tell me, to let me know that it was not safe. And I ran a flashlight, oh no. Why am I so dumb? Why is this happening to me? No! Oh! And there goes my ammo. Why am I smart? Why am I this smart? Like that was really smart, Jose. Nice going, bro. Oh well, this is trippy. I don't like these colors. These colors are not doing it for me. Oh, I need ammo. Oh, joy. Joy. What did that open? Oh, it drained the waste. Oh, nice. Can I just get across normally now? Oh, the door is blocked too. That's why I couldn't get across. Oh, man. Itch. I'm itching. I usually itch when I'm scared. So why don't we cross this then in the next episode. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave it right here. I, I'm i pretty sure, I want to know what's going on, but I figured, you know what, I've been recording long enough, I should probably stop it right here. But yeah, this game is, I wouldn't say it's good, but it's decent enough to make me want to play more. It. Um, I feel like the reason why I like it is because it, has a lot of resemblance to Half-Life 2, which is one of my favorite games. I played it like several like several years ago. I played it and it was awesome. I played all all four games in like one summer and I remember enjoying it. So it made me want to do to play other Valve games and other games that were inspired by Half-Life. And so I played a Stanley Parable, that's why I'm playing this one. I really like the Half-Life mods. The people who make these mods are really creative and they really um what do you call it? They really like uh, they really risk these new concepts and try to do something new. I can't say the same for this one. Stanley Parable is what I was referring to, but this one is kind of 
it feels a lot like Bioshock, and it has a very, it has a lot of similarities to Bioshock. That's why I'm not really blown away by it, but it is interesting enough to me, make me want to play more. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you let me know in the comments down below and hit that like button to let me know if you enjoyed it. But anyway, this is Mr. Sonic Manu signing off. See you guys. <laughs>